Hi, this is Grandpa from Grammy and Grandpa Reads, and today's we have another Jan Brett book. It's The Wild Christmas Reindeer. It looks like it's gonna be, I love the drawings in these books. I think you will too. Very Christmassy. <laughs> Tika was excited and a little afraid. This year, Santa had asked her to get the reindeer ready to fly on Christmas Eve. Tika had never done this before, and she wanted everything to be perfect. Tika lived up in the Arctic, in the shadow of Santa's winter farm. The last of the snow geese had flown south, and everyone's mind was on Christmas. The workshop was alive with the sounds and the, of saws sawing, hammers hammering, and brushes painting, as they all worked to have the toys and presents ready for delivery on Christmas Eve. Tika knew it was time for her to go in search of the reindeer. They had been out in the, on the tundra, wild and free, since last Christmas, and Tika was sure they wouldn't want to go to Winter Farm to train. She would have to be strong and firm. At last, she found them. Bramble and heather, windswept and lichen, snowball, crag, twilight, and trunda, tundra. <laughs> Boy, those aren't the names I remember <laughs> for Santa's reindeer. How about you? Tika took a deep breath and shouted out, Let's go! Move, move, move! The reindeer were bewildered by Tika's voice. Their heads went up to see who this loud creature was, but they let her herd them together and headed back toward Winter Farm. Tundra gave her the most trouble. Tika didn't know what he considered himself the leader and was used to being was not used to being bossed around he liked to stay next to twilight but she was separated from him and running near the front when they got to the barn tika put them in different stalls tundra snorted impatiently by the next morning when tika went into the barn all the reindeer were restless and upset Lycan was frightened of Crag, who kept nipping at him. Bramble was so worried, she drove Heather wild, and Twilight kept calling out to Tundra, who was just plain angry and stamping his hoofs. Tika groomed each reindeer. She wanted them to look sleek and glossy for Santa. One by one, she brushed and combed their coats and pushed and pulled all their tangled manes. She brushed so long and hard that their ears started to turn pink. <laughs> Tika took the reindeer outside. Now she was ready for the real training to begin. Snowflakes danced in the air as she tried to stand them in two lines and put on their harnesses, but they wouldn't stay lined up. She, she had put Tundra in the back with Heather instead of at the front with Twilight. So he kicked out at Heather, who then bolted into, Bra into Bramble. <laughs> Tika scolded the reindeer. Don't move, she cried, but they all ran off wild-eyed, and she had to go after them and bring them back. <laughs> oh, poor Tika. The next day, Tika harnessed the reindeer in the barn before taking them out into the snow. Everything went right until she got them lined up outside and tried to steer them first to the left and then to the right. To make the sleigh fly, they would need to pull together smoothly, but everything went wrong. Tundra crashed into Heather, Snowball blew up at Bramble, windswept, knocked over Twilight, and then Lichen locked antlers with Crag. <laughs> Stop, Tika cried as she watched the reindeer paw the air. Unhook, she shouted as they tried to free their long antlers. Then Lycan and Crag fell over into the snow. The harder they pulled, the more their antlers locked. The reindeer were frantic, and Tika only made it worse by yelling at them. Tundra and Heather rushed to help, but the antlers did not break free. Windswept nudged at Lycan and Bramble ran to help Crag. But the more they tried to help, the more they got tangled up themselves. 
Their necks strained and their muscles bulged, but their but their antlers did not bulge. Te budge, sorry. Tika wailed, oh please, it's almost Christmas Eve. But the reindeer could not move. A frosty silence hung in the air. Tika looked at the tangled reindeer, once so bold and free, and began to cry. It's all my fault, she said. I've spent all my time yelling at you instead of helping. I'm sorry. And one by one, she gave each reindeer a hug. Tomorrow, she said, we'll go to work in a new way. No yelling, no screaming, and no bossing. I promise. And let me try to help you get you free. The reindeer listened to this new voice. Heather's eyes sparkled, crag cracked, a reindeer grin, bramble giggled, and snowball sighed. Tundra laughed and Twilight smiled. The more they laughed and the more they shook, as they shook, their antlers rattled and rubbed. And before Tika could do anything, she heard a spring, spring, sprung sound. And it was, and oh, it was the antlers jiggling free. Quietly, Tika led the reindeer back to the barn. She sleeked their coats. She gently brushed their ears and combed out their manes. Tundra muzzled her cheek. The next day, the reindeer lined up in two lines, ready for the harness, and Twilight and Tundra leading the line. They practiced turning left, and they practiced turning right. Tika directed them softly. Tundra pulled for Twilight. Bramble was gentle to Lycan. Windswept helped Heather and Snowball nestled against Crag. Together they practiced long and hard. They didn't notice that it was getting dark and they almost didn't hear a jingle in the distance. It was Santa standing by the sleigh, piled high with presents and ready to go. Now the reindeer were ready too and Tika led them to the sleigh. Santa smiled and nodded his thanks. Then he climbed aboard and waved to Tika, who watched as the wild reindeer rose up together and carried the sleigh off into the night. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Don't you love the pictures in that book? Anyway, uh, remember to like our videos, subscribe to our channel, and tell all your friends to watch the Christmas playlist. <laughs>